Here this we meeting go. is being recorded by those that are participants. This meeting is being recorded. All right. Good afternoon, everyone. This is Megan calling in from our office here in Vancouver, Washington. Our mission of the Northwest Association for Blind Athletes is to provide life-changing opportunities through sports and physical activities. And uh, today, uh, two individuals who are blind and visually impaired, <laughs> and today we're going to do a, a full body circuit workout. So we have three circuits lined up for uh, upper body, uh, lower body, and then our core. Um, we'll start with the cool down. We'll end with, I'm sorry, we'll start with a warm up and end with the cool down <laughs> and uh, take it from there. So, to begin, let's start with a warm up. Um, so, I'm just stretching my arms out to the side. So, my arms are in a, a big T shape. And let's start with some arm circles. So, I'll start with some little arm circles. Right now, my wrists are even with my shoulders, and I'm making little circles. So, if my fingertips were to draw circles on the wall, they could. We're starting small, and then we'll get a little bit bigger to loosen up our shoulders and our arms. Taking a few deep breaths. And then I'm going to switch directions and go the other way with my arms. And then I'm just gonna shake my hands, uh, relax them down by my sides and shake my hands down towards the ground. And next let's do some windmill toe touches. So I'm gonna widen my stance a little bit and bring my arms back up to that T position and reach my left hand down to my right toes, uh, hinging at my waist, standing up tall again. And then my right hand down to my left toes, back up. And let's do, let's do five or six of these on each side. Loosening up our torso and our core, even our hamstrings and the backs of our legs. And I'm gonna do one more on each side and then we'll move on to the next thing. All right. And now let's do some high knees and march in place. So with each step, I'm bringing my knee up in front of, in front of my body as high as it goes. Do, do, do. Getting our heart rates up a little bit, loosening up our lower bodies, ankles, legs. I'm just going to march back and forth on my mat, actually. Get a little movement. And I'm going to change that to do some glute kicks and kick my heels back to my butt. Do, do, do. Loosening up the fronts of our legs. Let me let Lauren in here. There we go. All right. So we're still doing some glute kicks. Let's do a few more. Let Lorinda tune in. Hello. Welcome, Lorinda. It's Megan. Hi. We're just doing some glute kicks to warm up our legs, and then we'll get into our first circuit here momentarily. Does running up and down the stairs count as my warm up? <laughs> I think so. I yeah. think that's my husband's problem. <laughs> That'll work. <laughs> Get your heart rate up a little bit. <laughs> yeah. All right. Is I'll there any other warm up exercises you'd like go. to do before we jump into a circuit? Ankle. Ankles. Ankle rolls. Excellent. Let's do some ankle rolls. So I'm going to hold on to something stationary and uh, roll. Put my left toes on the ground and roll my ankle around. My body weight is on my right foot as I'm doing ankle circles with my left ankle. And I'm gonna to switch to my right side, loosening up our right ankle. Always good to wake up those muscles as we'll do some um, standing on one foot. Uh, with some of our exercises. All right. Any other warm up exercises before we get going? All right. Let's jump into our first circuit. So, for our first circuit, we're going to focus in on our arms. So, uh, we're going to do the similar um, exercise, uh, exercises as last week. 
We'll do forearm rolls, which is like rolling up a yoga mat or squeezing a sponge or rolling uh, a water bottle in your hands. So it's that motion of rolling your knuckles uh, from the top and rolling them so they're pointing from the ceiling and then down to the floor and then doing one hand at a time. So we're gonna really work those forearm muscles. And then the next one is uh, tricep lifts where we're lifting an object uh, from having our arms straight up towards the sky and then lowering our hands uh, behind our head, hinging at our elbows, working the muscles in the back of our upper arms, our triceps. And then the third one is wall push-ups. Um, with that, uh, we have options. Do you want to do four sets of those three, or would you like to do 45 seconds of each for three sets? Four sets. Four sets with 30 seconds? Yeah. All right, let's do that. So that's what my timer is already set for. Uh, let's get through this little commercial here on my timer, and then we'll start with forearm rolls in. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Forearm rolls. I'll turn some music on. If it's too much, if it's too loud, let me know. I can adjust the volume. Is that uh, okay volume? Perfect. Perfect. All right. <laughs> so we're up on my other Okay, it's really loud on my end. Funny. Let's see what I can do about that. All right, and we'll switch in to one resting, getting to tricep lifts next. In three, two, one, go. Tricep lifts. Lifting that object straight up from behind your back, straight up to the ceiling. Extending your arms up as far as you can, hinging at your elbows. Really engage your triceps as you lift up and biceps as you go down. And resting. Moving to wall push-ups next. In. Three, two, one, go. Wall push-ups. With these, you can have your fingers in a diamond shape with your thumbs together and your uh, pointer, your index fingers together. You can also um, pivot your hands so your fingertips are pointing up towards the ceiling. And then we're lowering our body into the wall and then pushing our body back from the wall. Nice and slow, engaging our biceps and triceps with this one too. And resting, moving to our second round of forearm rolls. Three, two, one, go. So we're wringing out that sponge, wringing out that rag, rolling up that yoga mat, strengthening our forearms. Going well. And a few more seconds here. We'll rest in three, two, one. Resting. Shake out those arms. Moving to tricep lifts next. In three, two, one, go. Tricep lifts. Lift that object up to the ceiling. Watch your ceiling fans, though. <laughs> nice job. Keep up. Keep it up. We'll rest in three, two, one. Resting. Shake out those arms. Get ready for some wall push-ups next. In three. Two, one, go. Make sure you have a straight line from your heels through your legs. 
up into your shoulders. Don't want to be sticking your butt out or letting your butt sag in. Nice strong posture with your back. And resting. Shake it out. Getting into our third round of forearm rolls. In three, two, one, go. Forearm rolls. We used to do this one in softball conditioning with a bat in a string with a brick hanging from the string. And we roll the brick up and then we let it back down. A brick? A brick, yep. <laughs> Get our forearms really strong so you can swing the bat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and three, two, one, resting. Moving to tricep lift next. And go. Tricep lifts. Yeah, you can do it with like a soup can too. <laughs> soup can, string, and broomstick. <laughs> All right, lift that object straight up, working those triceps. Three, two, one, resting. Moving to wall push ups next. Whew, I gotta shake my arms out, I'm feeling it. And go. Wall push-ups. If you want to add a little spark to this, you can, when you push up off the wall, you can clap your hands before you go back down onto the wall. You can do push-ups to a T, where you push up one arm, make a T shape, putting your arm behind you and then returning it to the wall. And resting. Moving to our final round of forearm rolls. In three, two, one, go. Nice straight posture. Head tall, shoulders back. Wrists are about even with your shoulders. Whew. And resting in three, two, one, resting. Moving to tricep lifts next. And go, tricep lifts. It is a bright, sunshiny day today. <laughs> Halfway there, keep going strong. After three sets, I can definitely feel it on the fourth set. <laughs> All right, resting in three, two, one, resting. And last round of all push-ups. In three, two, one, go. Nice and slow. You can hold as you're close to the wall. Hold in for a moment before you push back up again. Really engage those upper arm muscles. Keep going strong, finish strong, and we'll be finished in three, two, one, complete. Awesome job. Hit. Pause on my timer and turn the music off for a moment. All right, awesome job. Through the first circuit, I'm gonna grab a drink of water and we'll talk about our leg circuit. All right, so uh, similar to last week, we're going, we'll be doing squats to high knees, heel raises and wall sits. Okay. Any questions with any of those? What was the first one? Uh, squats to high knees. Got it. So I have a medium size uh, distance between my feet, a medium size stance, I should say. We'll squat down, 
And then as we lift up, bringing one knee up in front of us and then uh, planting that foot back on the ground, squatting, and then lift off with the other leg. All right, being there's no questions, we'll just get right to it. And we'll start with our squats to high knees in three, two, one, go. Squats to high knees. Hit the music here, maybe, there we go. As you squat down, make sure your back is in a nice posture, shoulders are back, head is up. Sitting down on that low stool behind you. Nice and slow and controlled. And resting. Moving to our heel raises next. In. Three, two, one, go. Heel raises. Lifting our heels off the ground, working that our ankle muscles here. If you want the extra challenge, you could do one foot at a time as you hold on to a stationary object if you choose. And then switch to the other side. And we're resting in three, two, one, resting. Moving to wall sit for 30 seconds. Starting in three, two, one, go. So with a wall sit, we want uh, for, uh, our ankles underneath our knees and our knees even with our hips that are up against the wall. And you want your back fully on the wall. Nice straight posture. Head up, looking forward. Take a few deep breaths. You can dance with your hands to the music. <laughs> and resting. One wall sit down. Moving back to squat high knees. And go. Squatting down. Lifting a leg up. My bones are cracking today. <laughs> Feels good to stretch. Keep going strong. Get a few more squats in. And resting. Whew. Moving to heel raises next. Grab, walk out your leg muscles and go. Heel raises. You do a little pump to the beat. Yeah, find that beat. I'm bouncing on my balls of my feet and resting. Moving to wall sits in three, two, one, wall sit. Whew. Engage those. Uh, your upper legs, your quads. Take a nice deep breath. Three, two, one, resting. Moving to squats to high knees next. Whew. Do some high Whew. knees to work that one out. And go, squats to high knees. Squats a good exercise after wall sits. A little dynamic exercise after static one. Get a couple more in, you got this. And resting. Moving to our third round of heel raises next. 
in three, two, one, go. Bounce to the beat again. Keep my, keeping my heels off the mat. Get a little arm motion in there. Little jabs. And resting. Moving to wall sits next. In. Three, two, one, go. Wall sit. And my time was running wild, a million dead end streets. And every time I thought I got it made, it seemed that the meeting is being recorded by the author of our citizens. So I tell myself to face me. Ooh, nice deep breaths here as we hold on our wall sit position. A nice straight chair. Three, two, one, awesome job. Resting. Moving to squat the high knees. And go. Nice job, halfway there. Going strong, nice slow squat, and then burst up with that high knee. <clears throat> Working our quads going down and our uh, hamstrings going up. All right, we're resting right now. Moving into heel raises next. And go, heel raises. Last round. Right, keep going just a few more seconds. We will rest in three, two, one, resting. Last round of wall sits. Got two minutes of wall sits all in all. And go. Nice relaxing position, relaxing against the wall. Working our quads, our ankle muscles, a little bit of um, calf muscle. Almost there. And complete. I believe that's four rounds. Let me check my timer. Yep. Awesome job. I'm going to turn it, pause the music here for a moment. Awesome, way to go. Circuit number two, down. Moving into, I'm gonna grab a drink of water and then move into the next circuit. Reset my timer. All right, so circuit number three is our core circuit. We have bicycle crunches, dead bug and bird dog. Uh, what kind of questions do you have about those? Or would you like any explanation? No, I did. did. You must know I'm in therapy. <laughs> bird dog. Bird it's dog, therapy. okay. So bird yeah. dog, uh, we start on our hands and knees. And I'm going to extend my left arm forward. So my left wrist is even with my left shoulder. And then I'm going to extend my right leg out straight. So my right ankle is even with my hip. I'm going to go out and then bring that in. So my left um, elbow touches my right knee under my belly button. And then I'll extend back out again and then return those to the mat. Next, I'll do the other side. I'll lift my right hand and left knee off the ground, extend them out, bring my left I'm sorry, my right elbow, my left knee together under my belly button, and then extend out again, and then return them to the mat. So out 
in, out, return to the mat. Um, any other questions? Uh, dead bug is. Yeah, good question. So dead bug, we start on our back. Yeah. And let me get in that position. So I'm on my back with my soles of my feet and my fingertips pointed up towards the ceiling. Uh, similar to bird dog, we're gonna lower uh, our right arm, left leg, oh, okay. slowly down, let it hover a few inches above the ground and then bring it back up to point up towards the ceiling again. And now we'll lower our left arm, right leg, let it hover above the ground and then raise it back up. As we do that, we're engaging our core muscles and assuring that our back stays completely flat on the mat, okay? Yeah. Sometimes my lower back will roll off the mat and I'll just kind of reset to keep my back in a safe position. Uh, any other questions? All right, let's do this. Oh. Start, starting with bicycle crunches. In three, two, one, go. So with these, we're uh, also extending one foot at a time out. Let me turn the music on here. So like we're pedaling a bicycle. And as I pedal my bicycle, I'm going to bring, when my right knee comes back, I'm gonna bring my left elbow towards my right knee. And then when my left knee comes back, bring my right elbow towards my left knee. And resting. Moving to dead bug neck. In three, two, one, dead bug. Feet and hands up towards the sky. Slowly lower an arm and a leg and then return it up. That upright position, really engage your core to better control that motion of a leg and an arm going down. Remember to breathe as we're working our core. Easy to hold your breath. <laughs> and resting. Moving to bird dogs next. Roll on up to your hands and knees. And go, bird dog. Keeping your back in a nice position. Extend out. In, out, down. Send out, bring knee and elbow in. Send out and then down. Really engage that core as you bring your arm, your elbow and knee in. And resting. Moving back to our bicycle crunches. Part of the core workout is getting up and down from hands and knees to laying on your back. And go. Bicycle crunches. Let's jump on our bikes and ride. Nice twist in your torso. Working your obliques. And resting. Moving to dead bug next. In three, two, one, dead bug. Hands and legs up towards the ceiling. One arm, one leg at a time. Lowering it. If you want the extra challenge, you can hover your arm and leg for a few seconds, really engaging your core before lifting it back up. And resting. Moving to bird dog next. And go. <laughs> Get a nice little stretch when you extend your arm and your leg out. Core stretch and then a core workout. Keep 
Keep it up. Get a few more in. And resting. Moving back to our bicycle crunches next. Back to our backs. And go. Bicycle crunches. Round three. You can do these to the beat. You can do them to the beat of your breath. Whatever works for you. Get a few more cycles in here. Resting in three, two, one. Resting. Whew. Feeling the core. Moving to dead bugs next. Some people call me the space cowboy. Three, two, one, go. Dead bug. Some people call me Maurice. <laughs> Nice, slow, controlled motion. Get a few more in here. And resting. Moving back to dead bug. And go, dead bug. <laughs> we're on dead bug. I'm sorry, yes, we're on bird dog. Thanks for clarifying. A few more seconds of bird dog here. And resting. All right, moving back to our bicycle crunches. And go. Awesome job. Pedaling to the beat. Here we go. And resting. Moving to our dead bug next. Final dead bug of the circuit. And go, dead bug. Almost there. And resting. Moving to our last round of bird dogs. And going. Make this your best bird dog of the circuit. Nice stretch in, stretch out, and then back down. Alright, keep going strong. Get one more in. And complete. Alright, awesome job. We have completed our third circuit. Let me pause the music here for a moment. All right, I'm gonna grab a drink of water. We uh, zipped through those ex exercises today. And that being said, we have time for a bonus circuit if you'd like. Um, there's three, three athletes here. We could do athlete's choice. So think of an exercise you'd like to do for circuit number four. And let's see, how about, um, how about Dana? What would you like to do for the fourth, the fourth circuit? Wall sits. Wall sits, <laughs> more wall sits. Yeah, awesome. I'm good at it. 
<laughs> Great. <laughs> Excellent. And then how about uh, Crystal? How about like, if I, since I'm in physical therapy for my shoulders, okay. maybe we should do IYT. Great. Let's do IYT next. So that's holding... Uh, holding our arms out in that T shape with our wrists, even with our shoulders or in a Y position where our wrists are above our shoulders or an I position with it, our hands straight up. And then we're bringing our shoulder blades together and then forward again. Awesome. And then Lorinda, what would you like to do? <laughs> um, so many good yeah. options. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was trying to think of something that was arm or ab related. <laughs> okay. Other two body parts. Could do um, stand, standing crunches. Yes, yeah, standing crunches. Standing crunches. Okay. What are, uh, what are standing crunches? What are standing crunches? Standing crunches. One moment. I'm just writing it down so I remember what we're doing. <laughs> All right. So standing crunches are. Uh, uh, bringing, so if I bring my right knee up, I'm going to bring my left elbow to my right knee in oh. front of me, okay. and then return that right foot to the ground, lifting my left foot off the ground, high knee in front, bringing my right elbow towards my oh, okay. left knee, okay. not touching your knee to your elbow, but just bringing it close. Okay. And then as we do that crunching position, really engage your core. Got it. Awesome. All right, ready for more wall sits? Who's ready for more wall sits? Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let me reset my timer and we'll start with wall sits in three, two, one. Let's do this. All right. Wall sits, music, here we go. All right, nice straight chair. Dance with your hands. Do some cross jabs. <laughs> and resting. Awesome. Moving to IYT next. In three, two, one, go. I, Y, or T. Holding your arms out and then bringing your shoulder blades back, touching them together as you extend your arms back behind and then returning them to even with your body. Feel free to use extra weights if you want to to intensify this one or not using the weight of your arms to build your muscles and resting, moving to standing crunches, crunches next. In three, two, one, go. Standing crunches. See as you can pick your pace if you want to step it up and go fast with the beat, feel free. Or since we are on the fourth circuit, if you're ready to pace down a little bit, really engage that core. Job. Keep it up, going strong and resting. Moving to our next round of wall sits. In three, two, one, go, wall sits. My feet are about a foot apart. Knees even with hips, knees above ankles. Spine against the wall. Arms are grooving. A little cross jabs to distract myself from what my legs are doing. <laughs> and resting. Moving to IYT's next. And go. IYT. Job. Halfway there. Really 
open your chest up as you touch your shoulder blades together. And resting. Moving to standing crunches. Round two. In three, two, one, go. Standing crunches. Same time. And resting. Moving to our third round of all sets. Three, two, one, go. Wall sets. Remember to breathe. Three, two, one, resting. Awesome job. And back to IYTs next. And go. in three, two, one, resting, and over to standing crunches next. Three, two, one, go, standing crunches. Keep going strong. Three, two, one, resting. I believe we got one more round. Final round of wall sits coming up. In three, two, one, go. Wall sits. Holding on strong, doing great. Three, two, one, awesome job. Let's rest. Moving to our last round of IYTs. And go. Standing crunches. All right, grand finale. And complete in three, two, one. Awesome job. All right. Pause the music here. Great job, everyone. All right.
right, I'm gonna grab a drink of water and then we'll do a little cool down. And since we're standing, we'll do some standing cool downs. And potentially make our way to the mat, we'll see. So let's start with, um, let's stretch our arms out. So I'm gonna reach my hands up towards the ceiling and make myself very tall, long like a pencil. And as we work our obliques a little bit, let's um, exhale to the left, getting a nice stretch in our right side. And then inhale up to center and then exhale to the right side. Do a few cycles of that. Stretching out our shoulders and our sides. All right, shake my arms down towards the ground and we'll stretch out our triceps by again, reaching up towards the ceiling. I'm gonna lower my right hand to my back and gently push on my right elbow with my left hand, getting a nice stretch in my right tricep. And we'll hold here for a few breaths. And when you're ready, let's switch sides and bring our left hand to our back, gently pushing our left elbow with our right hand, stretching out that left tricep. <clears throat> Great, and let's bring that in front of us. So bringing uh, our left arm across in front of our body and uh, gently pushing on our left elbow with our right hand um, at our chest. So we're getting a nice stretch in our shoulder and bicep. And then doing that on the other side, bringing our left arm, sorry, our right hand across our body over so my left fingertips are pointing, my right fingertips are pointing towards the left wall. And then I'm gently pushing on my right elbow with my left hand. Awesome, one more arm stretch. Let's stretch out our forearms. So I'm putting my um, palms together in prayer position uh, by my chest and uh, gently pushing my fingertips, uh, pushing my left fingertips towards the right, stretching out the, my right forearm, and then gently pushing my right fingertips to the left, stretching out my left forearm. We'll go back and forth a little bit. Great. And then let's stretch out our, um, our calf muscles. We worked our calves. So I'm going to go up against a wall, putting my right tip, my right toe tips uh, up on the wall. And then my right heel is still on the ground. And my left foot is back a little bit, about a foot from the wall. And I'm just going to lean into the wall, getting a nice stretch in my right calf. Holding here for a couple of breaths. And then we'll switch and do that on the left side. So left toe tips up on the wall, left heel still planted on the ground. Uh, right foot is back a little bit from the wall, about a foot or two. And then just leaning your body into the wall to stretch out that left calf. Nice, and then let's stretch out our, our um, quads. So I'm gonna hold on to something stationary and kick my right foot up into my right hand. So my right heel is by my butt and I'm balancing on my left foot and I'm just gonna stretch out my right quad. Holding for a couple of breaths and then we'll do the same thing on the left side. 
All right, switching to the other side, kicking my left foot into my left hand, stretching out my left quad. <clears throat> All right. And then finally, let's do a forward fold and stretch out our hamstrings and the back mu the muscles in the backs of our legs. So my uh, stance is about a little more than shoulders width apart. I'm going to hinge at my waist and reach my hands down towards the ground, towards uh, the center in between my feet, and just let my body hang. You can cross your arms so you're holding your elbows if you would, if you wish. And just kind of relax all your muscles in your lower back, your core, your legs. And then I'm going to bounce a little bit to the right towards my right foot. And then I stretch my right uh, hamstring. And then over to the left. Nice stretch. All right. Are there any more cool down stretches you'd like to do? Hearing none, <laughs> I'll say thank you for joining <laughs> us today. <laughs> and uh, enjoy the rest of your day. Stay cool, stay hydrated, and we'll see you tomorrow for Zumba. All right. Thanks, have a good Brandon, day. Have a good day. Thank you. Have a good one. Bye. One two zero eight five seven seven zero one seven one has left the meeting. Lorita has left the meeting. Hold that four Zoom meeting. You are sharing.